Hi everyone and welcome back to another Chronically Optimistic. Thank the Lord, I am feeling so much better this week. Hey guys, so I'm here to give you another update on my Trintilix. I have been on the 15 milligrams for a couple of weeks now, and in my last update, I let you guys know how I was feeling after being on it for seven days. The first week, I will admit, was very rough. I just had so much nausea and stomach problems, which does make a lot of sense because that medication is known for those kind of side effects, and any time that you increase the dose, your chances of experiencing side effects or worsened side effects increases. I did expect that I was probably going to have some side effects from it. Nausea, stomach upset, I was pretty much expecting that. It was really bad. But in my last update, after seven days, I told you guys that I was starting to see the light a little bit. The doctor did tell me to give the medication, the new dose of the medication, at least a week before giving up on it um, just to kind of see if the side effects would kind of trickle down and if my anxiety would start to see some improvement. So pretty much right on the seventh day of being on the 15 milligrams, I started feeling a little bit better. My stomach kind of settled down and I didn't have as much um, nausea in the mornings. Um, my appetite started improving again and my anxiety started lowering, which was amazing. I really wasn't sure if Trintilex is going to work for me for my anxiety or not because on the 10 milligrams I was just having so much of it. It wasn't worth the side effects if I was going to be that anxious. I was a little bit, I guess, wary of going up to 15 milligrams because I wasn't sure that it would do anything for me. But I am very happy to say um, I was wrong and the 15 milligrams is helping me a lot. So I'm really happy that my doctor suggested I increase it and I'm really happy that I took the chance and gave it the time that it needed. If I had given up after a few days with, you know, feeling so sick, I wouldn't feel as good as I do now. So I'm really happy that I stuck with it. It's been such a blessing to have some moments in my day that aren't completely overruled by anxiety. Basically before every single morning when I woke up, as soon as I woke up, I was hit with that dread in the pit of my stomach. I was hit with really bad anxiety and I had my anxiety pretty much throughout the entire day. I'm 15, I've been on it for two weeks and now my days are more balanced. I wake up in the morning feeling pretty good. I haven't been having my really bad stomach upset in the morning anymore. There are times where I do have upset stomach still, but it's manageable definitely. It's nowhere near as bad as it was when I first upped the dose. I definitely think my body is adjusting really well. Now I actually have lots of times during the day where I'm not anxious at all and I'm not even thinking about my wedding, I'm not even thinking about everything that I have to do and that is so amazing. If you guys have anxiety then you understand completely what it's like to just be so anxious all the time. Having that constant anxiety is so exhausting. So finding something that has given me even just a little bit of relief is just such a blessing. So I'm really appreciative that I'm able to get this medication and that my extended health insurance covers it. I've given it the time and had the patience to wait it out. Um, and get to this point. I definitely suggest, you know, if you're trying an SSRI and you're really bogged down by side effects, if you can manage the side effects, definitely do your best to wait it out for a couple of weeks. It honestly makes a huge difference and it's difficult sometimes to tell which side effects are going to stick around and which ones are going to be very fleeting. You know, you just kind of have to be really patient when it comes to antidepressants. Um, and a lot of other medications because it does take time for your body to adjust and for it to build up in your system. So um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you guys know that I'm feeling really good and my anxiety is definitely a lot more manageable now than it was before. It does get really bad or if I have some bouts of panic, I do have Ativan that I can take but I definitely try to hold off and only take that in emergency situations. With benzodiazepines, you don't want to be taking them too often and you don't want to be taking them every single day if you can help it. They are addictive and your body does build up 
kind of resistance to them. If you're taking them multiple times a day, every single day, chances are they're going to become less effective for you. But definitely, you know, benzos are a huge blessing to those of us who have really bad anxiety and just having them on hand is so amazing. I can take them if I need them and I don't have to worry about being trapped in a situation where I'm panicking with no kind of treatment for that. I'm getting very close now to my wedding. I'm, you know, not very far away from it now. So definitely the pressure's mounting, but I'm coping really well and I'm very grateful for that. I hope that you guys are all having a great day and figuring out your own medication situations if you're going that route and, you know, coping as best as you can. And remember that it's okay to have bad days and even now that I've found a dose of the medication that works pretty well for me, I'm still gonna have bad days and that's okay too. It's not about having only good days and feeling only amazing all the time. It's about having a balance. It's okay to have some happy times and some sad times and some anxious times. What you don't want is to have 100% of your time be anxious time and that's what we're working on. Trying to find medications that work for us and therapy and supplements and you know counseling, whatever it is that you can find to help you find that balance. So I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!